We're about to start the elephant capture at the Tolo Game Reserve. As you can see behind me, the terrain is fairly challenging. It will be one of the more challenging captures we've ever done. And we'll let you know how it goes. The capture team is ready, the trucks are ready, and we're very energized for a good day. The secret is to start with the matriarch. You dart her first, and then she anchors the group essentially in an area where we can hopefully work. And then as quickly as possible, you dart from the next biggest all the way down to the smallest animal. And it's chaotic in the air. Um, the pilots and the vet, there's lots of uh, chitty chatter between them trying to work out who to get to, where to turn, which animal next. We hope that between 10 and 15 minutes we have a whole entire family group immobilized and on the ground ready for recovery. We had a very interesting start to the day. We, uh, we've managed to find a family group of six elephants. Dart had gone down well but in a really rugged area but the animals are all stable and we're making a plan to get out here so really really difficult so hopefully within the next half an hour we'll have the first six elephants in the box so once the elephants on the ground the ground team have to be there with an instance to make sure that there's no issues that the animals are all stable quite often they stand on each other's trunks they lie on each other they fall in dongas there's so many things that can go wrong so the ground team need to be close at this time it's just an amazing, amazing thing just to get to the point where you start lifting the elephants onto the trucks and to see those elephants feet up in the air, head down and then slowly coming over. It's just awesome. It has exceeded my expectations. So first of all, uh, catching I think now by now 14 elephants within this short time frame shows how professional the organization is and how lucky I think we are today. So essentially we're trying to relieve pressure in reserves where there are too many in areas where they are changing the habitat where there's a lot of habitat degradation and we're trying to rehome or translocate these elephants to parks where there are none. On the one hand we're helping the habitat on relieving pressure on the habitat in some of the parks. On the other hand we're restoring areas by reintroducing elephants. Yeah, we're busy with the Zenov National Park Development Project. It entails uh, developing the park as part of the Greater Limpopo Transplante area. Now, in this case specifically, you know, there hasn't been grazers for maybe 40 plus years, which has resulted in the vegetation actually becoming quite overgrown, which is beautiful, but uh, it lessens diversity. Diversity is very much stimulated by disturbance, and that disturbance is generally caused by animals. So it's quite important for us to bring stuff like uh, the grazers, the buffalo, the zebra, and then particularly elephant, which is a well-known habitat changer. But just to keep the protection complete and in good shape, we obviously have done a lot to increase the, the, the capacity for this. We've trained rangers, we've got equipment such as digital radio systems, vehicles, bicycles for rangers, um, and all is being implemented currently and poaching actually in Zanaf is very well under control at the moment. It's three animals, um, big cow, two youngsters, so we're going to be loading. That takes us to a total of 24 animals uh, for the day and I think 53 in total for the KZN operation. We've had an amazing day. We know we've made a seriously meaningful difference to this reserve. And a, and, a, and a meaningful difference to Zanav who will be receiving these 24 elephants. So our hope is that these elephants move, that they breed, that they become many over time. Great, we just offloaded 24 elephants. No problems, offloading went smoothly. We couldn't have asked for better. They went straight out of the truck, calmly and peacefully off into the bush. Great result all around. Um, it's been a long day on the road. Everyone's tired now, the team deserves a, a, a rest. Thanks to the drivers, thanks to everyone that helped to make this happen. We found tracks coming down to the water that shows us the family herd's been down here through the course of the night or the early hours of this morning. It gives us a lot of relief, so we know they've found water, we know they've been drinking. Um, we've also seen them now in the bush. The family's back together, the herd's regrouped. One big happy end to this whole story.